Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am super excited about today's easy hassle-free dinner recipe and this is one that you can have on the dinner table in under 30 minutes. I'll be making my pork carnitas stuffed spaghetti squash. Now I absolutely love spaghetti squash and I love Smithfield marinated fresh pork and I thought why not bring those two together to create an epic dinner dish. I'll use my slow cooker to cook the Smithfield marinated fresh pork along with the spaghetti squash. And then once those two are done, I'm going to combine them with some cheddar cheese, top this dish off with some corn salsa, avocado, a little bit of lime juice, and the flavors and aroma of this dish are simply phenomenal. And for today's recipe, I'll be using Smithfield's boneless pork shoulder and seasoned carnitas. And I love using Smithfield marinated fresh pork for this recipe because it's slow marinated, perfectly seasoned. So all I have to do literally is take it out of the package and drop it into the slow cooker. It's even cut into smaller chunks. That'll be perfect. I'll make some extra room for my spaghetti squash. And I can already smell the aroma of this pork shoulder. It is so well seasoned and that saves me so much time. Just have to drop that into my slow cooker. And now onto the spaghetti squash. And if you've never had spaghetti squash, you're in for a real treat. This is a great replacement for pasta or other types of starches. And it actually looks like spaghetti. I'm going to cut off the end here and split the squash in two. Then I'll take a spoon and scoop out the seeds. and season the squash generously with a bit of sea salt and ground black pepper. And then place the squash into the slow cooker. Pour in one cup of water. And then power up that slow cooker. And that's it, super easy. Now I'm just going to let my pork shoulder and squash cook away. I have my slow cooker set to high and I'm going to cook for four hours. You can also use the low setting and cook for six to eight hours. All right, so my spaghetti squash and pork shoulder have just finished cooking and now it's time to assemble this dish. I'm going to carefully remove the spaghetti squash and place the pork shoulder into a separate bowl. And this is so tender, it's falling apart just with my kitchen tongs. And I love to use Smithfield marinated fresh pork, not only for my slow cooker recipes, but for any recipe that calls for pork, because they come in a really wide variety of fresh cuts. They have pork roast and pork tenderloin and pork filet and ribs, you name it, Smithfield has it. Next, I'll grab two forks and pull the pork shoulder into smaller pieces. And this really takes zero effort because this meat is so tender. You'll have this done in no time. And next, do the same thing with the spaghetti squash. Just take a fork and pull the squash meat away from the walls. To the spaghetti squash, I'll add in one cup of cheddar cheese. Add my pork carnitas, season this with a bit of salt, and I'll add a little bit of smoked paprika, about half a teaspoon. Add a bit of fresh cilantro, and then mix this all together. I've turned on my broiler and set it to high. Meanwhile, I'm going to fill the spaghetti squash. So you can set the empty shells onto a baking pan and then just take your kitchen tongs and fill them right up. And if you have some extra filling left over that doesn't fit into the spaghetti squash, you could just place it into an oven safe bowl and place it into the oven as well. Add a little bit more cheddar cheese on top and this stuffed squash is ready to go under the broiler. I'm gonna let it broil for about five to seven minutes until that cheese is nicely melted. And how good does that melted cheese look on top? I'm going to add some corn salsa. Now, I like to just pick up a can of corn salsa at the store while I'm getting my Smithfield marinated fresh pork and my squash. It's just super easy and it saves you time from having to make some homemade salsa. Add some diced avocado. Some more cilantro. And I like to add a squeeze of fresh lime juice. It adds a nice zestiness to the dish. 
pour that over the top and this is ready to be enjoyed. All right, time to dig in and enjoy this. And I love all the colors on here, the red from the salsa, the green from the avocado and cilantro. It just makes this dish so appetizing. Mmm. Wow, this dish is simply phenomenal. Every single bite is bursting with so much flavor. It is so aromatic, so delicious. You guys are going to want second and third helpings of this, the sweet spaghetti squash combined with the pork carnitas, that creamy avocado, that zesty salsa, pure perfection. If you're looking for an easy, hassle-free, slow cooker recipe, this is the one for you. You guys are going to love everything about it. And if you enjoyed Smithfield's boneless pork shoulder seasoned carnitas that I use in this recipe, make sure to check out their other cuts and assortment of mouth-watering flavors such as roasted golden rotisserie, sweet teriyaki, or applewood smoked bacon. And for more recipe inspiration and product information, visit smithfield.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you next time with another recipe.